sex. That's literally that. That's a taboo word. When where I come from, I mean, people literally don't talk about sex, even like your private parts. Just naming, naming like a vagina, a vagina. Eh? Just like you say, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees. Eh? Kicho mabega, magoti migu. You cannot say kuma. No. If you say that, people are like, eh? you know. But these are all that we've been fed, brainwashed. If you look at our culture, even when the young girls, the young maidens, and the Morans, the warriors, became, were coming to age, they learned about sex in a totally different manner, with metaphors, with song, with initiation. But nowadays, I mean, sex is everywhere to be sold. Films, commercials, don't even, you know, it's everywhere. But just talk about it, like, openly. People are like looking at you like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. it's like you it's like you come from a different space. Sex is something that we have to talk about. This is one of the biggest challenges that we are facing in Africa. Just talking about sex. Children, 13, 14, 15 years old, they get pregnant. They don't even know why they get pregnant. Our, our parents say, Tabiambaya bad behaviors and come to think about it. I mean, if you are conceived with Tabiambaya, eh, that's bad behavior, literally, from Swahili interpretation. I mean, we have to tell children the things like the, it is, this is a vagina, this is a penis, and if you bring together, there will be fire and there will be a chemical reaction, and it will lead to a baby, so if you don't want to get into these stresses, abstain.